horsemen are back together, maybe though. Well, you know, uh, Tony, this deal between Ole Anderson and Dusty Rhodes, this isn't a new thing. You know, this has been years and years that no one knows about. So Ole Anderson, my man Dusty Rhodes is about to say a few words. And if you're very smart, like you say you are, you'll listen to him because Dusty means what he says. Let's go to that tape of Dusty Rhodes. You know, for seven, eight, nine years, Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, and Ole Anderson done battle throughout this country. It's always been a way with Ole Anderson and Dusty Rhodes to cripple Maine or hurt somebody. The American dream seems to be something that he don't want to believe in. He's stuck in this redneck attitude about the way the country should be, about what should happen. You know, whether you're black, white, green, yellow, it has never mattered to the American dream. And he has always went on television and said, I believe one way, he believes the other. He's a bigamous. He's bigger than life. He's a redneck. He is nothing more than Ole Anderson. He laid up in Wisconsin with a broken leg, feeling sorry for himself. Now, once again, he comes, tries to tear my ear off and get into my personal, you understand? Now, when you play the dozens with Dusty Rhodes through the years, you know that something got to happen. He said, Dusty Rhodes, this is me and you. This is the end. All you skeptics in television land, all you people that are interested in watching the comedies on Saturday morning and think it's wrestling, got to get on this right here. This the real deal. This the American Dream Dusty Road. This is my livelihood. This is the way I make my living. Day in, day out. And for every skeptic, for every lawyer that think he's a halfway fan, there are 20 million people daily that love professional wrestling, that love Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, and believe the way I do. You think only out of him one minute, I'm gonna go and tell this guy over here, this little bit of kid, no matter what color he is, that there's not a real American dream out there, that you can't reach out in life and be the best you can, and go through this life like Dusty Rhodes living on the end of a lightning bolt, nurturing wounds, and often up my innocence. And every time I do what you do, you pay me back in scone. <laughs> well, the fans say, come in, dream. I'll give you shelter from the storm. That's what it's all about, Ole. If it's me and you, if this is the end, if it's all over, if it's no mas, no mo, then let's go for it. Let's go for it. Leave no stone unturned. Leave no rock not thrown and no glass right. broken. If this the end, I'm glad it's me and you. Ain't that the way it should be, Hoss? You got it, Jack. Well, I have chill bumps. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. I can't wait until me and you get together in Chicago and I can offer up my innocence. You pay, and I know you'll pay me back in scorn. When, when he said he's a bigamist, I was like, he's married to multiple people. I don't think that was that it didn't, it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. It was tremendous. It was dusty road speak. It was.